Hey guys, what's up? It's Minitough, and welcome back to episode 14 of our Skyblock Survival. I did a bit of work off screen. Maybe I just finished about five minutes ago. And ba bam. Wait, let me check my settings. Sound is off. Sorry about that. This 100, and this is 30? 30%. Okay, so I want to go put a roof on this thing and fix up the entryway. <laughs> so let's get it done. So I'm just going to take everything up there again hopefully I don't die and uh, I really like the way the last episode turned out even though it took me all day literally I got home from school and um, I went over oh I took down that big tree too I got home from school and I went into record I literally just went in and started recording and then um, right after that I found all my, like, the music stuff that I wanted to get. This is a little dark. Let's try this. So I found that music. I didn't actually make that at the time, but I found it um, on my hard drive. I made it a while ago, though. And then um, after I found it, I put it in. I edited the video, which took a little bit longer than I expected it to. Okay, this is the part I kind of want to fix. So... Um. Hey. All right, we're gonna do this. Oh, jeez, I don't really like carrying this much goods. So, okay, now we're up here. Now that we're up here, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna end up fixing that later, but. I want to put a roof on this, and I probably, oh, I probably won't even, I still have all this stuff. I probably won't ever come back up here again, so, I don't know, I, I honestly don't, oh, am I trapped? Am I trapped? Uh-oh. Okay, um, I guess I'm trapped. So, um, I... I really liked the way the last video turned out. I went, um, oh yeah, I didn't even finish my story. So, the exporting took, oh wait, before I talk about exporting, um, I, the editing took a while because it took maybe 45 minutes, but my computer was going really slow. There was so much footage. It was, you know, when I cut something or when I did something, it made it lag. And I was like, no. And then, so once, let me see, how high is, I don't want Endermen spawning, so... Yeah, it's just going to be this high. So we're going to fix this. So, um, after, I'm going to do it like this. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. So, the exporting took maybe over three hours. And then, um, by that time, it was dinner time. So maybe five, five something. Because my, um, sister and mom, we were all eating some dinner. We watched the show called Criminal Minds. I don't know if you've ever seen it before. It's on, like, Ion television or something like that. They they always watch it, and I'm like, whatever. I'm not too big on TV. I never really like TV that much. So then after we watched that, um, I was about... And during commercial, I ran out and checked on the video because I was compressing it to MP4, and it was about two minutes in, so I just waited and missed part of the video. And then um, that was basically it. Then I set it to... Um, upload and that took uh, an hour and then bam it was uploaded at about nine o'clock at night so the whole day I spent working on that video because I love you guys <laughs> so um the topic for this video is I'm not gonna fast forward all this because I might depending on how long it takes but I just I just kinda wanted to talk I really felt like talking so um the topic for this video is going to be my video production class so if you don't know I'm taking video production at my school it's it's a really awesome class you what you do is the teacher assigns you something you have to complete in a set time period and um, say you have to make a music video so he tells you a little bit about it and you're you know you're set okay have it in by you know Friday and then you know it's not that simple but and then you're off so this week is it's a news broadcast and um, so um, I paired up with not paired up with but 
uh, I got in a group and we there was this um newer guy for, I don't know where he, I forgot where he's from I think it's Seattle but I'm not sure I'm not sure um but you know and I I don't know him all that well but I sort of do now and then we were kind of doing we're doing a story you have to do a two minute main story because um in the video there's is this tall enough I'm just gonna get in, yeah so in the actual video there's um a story that's two minutes long and it's around there or lower and the rest of it is just um about you know you do little announcements so i can't really talk about those announcements because they're directly related to the school but then so they have a lot of really fancy video production equipment so um yesterday we i had to dress up in a collared shirt and look all fancy like and so then uh went in there and it was i didn't know that it was it was this professional and that they have a teleprompter which is basically a display that is sitting facing up and it's like i don't know how they do it but it's mirrored somehow and the ca on on like the mirror thing the camera is right behind it so you're looking right at the camera and it's really cool and the teleprompter is hooked up there's there's a little room in the back and you have to, and there's a another a laptop in there that was controlling the tele oop, the teleprompter so i thought that was really cool and then um so then there is a guy monitoring the audio and also um, adding the effects, um, the live graphics, I would say. But, uh, like, you know how on the news they have, like, the words and the story and stuff like that? So that's what um, they were doing in there. And then there is another person that is putting, I don't really, I, f I don't know too much about what they do, but they kind of they watch the finished product and they select when to use the clips that you just took and then there is one other guy I think doing the teleprompter I think I already said that and all there's a bunch of everyone has a headset with a mic on it so there's um uh, well one of them d just has a headset without a mic that is the person who's monitoring the audio that person can hear the audio from the newscasting people and they can't hear anyone else or talk to anyone. Their job is to make sure the audio sounds good. So then there are the um, there's the camera guy who is in front of the camera, does the five, four, three, two countdown, and then gets to they're actually monitoring the camera and using that. And there that's the the person who's selecting the clips to use and the person doing the teleprompter. Both all can talk and hear the person that is doing the uh, camera so it's kinda weird so if you're doing the teleprompter which I got to do because we did another person's group so I got to um, do the teleprompter and then today I got to do the audio for another group because we're kind of a little head so I would just I really liked doing it it was a lot of fun I don't know it was kinda cool to see how everything tied in together and stuff like that so I thought that was really cool so, um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? So I was actually doing the um, the anchor, and I don't like being on camera. And, and you may be thinking to yourself, "What? What? You do all this, you know, YouTube stuff, and you don't like being on camera?" Well, I'm physically not on camera. That's a that's a big difference to me. So I just I don't like having the camera pointed on you, and you're just expected to do to do stuff. And it's I don't know. I don't like it that much. But you know, I did it. Um, so we were doing a story on um, how the people uh, uh, in our in our school we have a lunch area and you have to pay for lunch. It costs like two sixty, which is uh, it's definitely not worth what they give you. But our story was on how they actually make their lunches. So uh, one of my friends has a really nice camera. It's a Canon. No, wait, is it's a Canon Rebel Two T? I don't know, something. It's the one below the 3i. I, T3i. It's 2ti. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know cameras too well. But it's really nice. And so, we were going to use that to shoot the B-roll. And if you don't know what B-roll is, it is... Um, I'll try to explain this the best I can. It's You know how there's news broadcasts? And they if they're talking about a guy that got murdered on 
blunt drive, they'd maybe show some footage of the area that he was murdered in, or the street sign that that goes on top of that you see instead of the news people talking. That is B-roll, and it's I don't know if I did a good explanation, but that's basically what it is in a nutshell. So we went, we had to uh, go in and uh, during class and ask the people if we could film in there. And they're con- not to be racist, but they're kind of they're like Mexicans and they don't really speak that much English. So we were we were trying to find the manager and who's in charge, and it was a little bit difficult. And we managed to find this one lady who could speak. English and Spanish. I don't know if she spoke, spoke Spanish, but she knew she I don't know what she was in there, but she said we could film and you know that was all good, so we we did a little filming and that was after we filmed inside. Well, there is two areas. There is the place where the students go to get served. You just got served to to actually get the food and then there's a counter and then everyone behind there is cooking the food and or um, serving it. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. So, um, yeah, so we kind of slowly worked our way back there because I'm, I'm kind of shy in front of people. So we kind of worked our way back, getting all the stuff done. And then, and then, so we finally got our way back there. That's when we asked the person. I was kind of a little ahead of myself. And then we finally got back there. And, oh, it's dark. So, okay, hold on. I'm going to leave that open. Okay, going to take down all of the... Oh, wait. So, we finally managed to get back there. And then, um, we were filming all the stuff. And they actually do cook the food. I never would have thought they, they really cooked it. I thought I really did think it was microwaved. I don't know if that's mean, but... I really thought the food was just... You know, they sat there and... There was just a bunch of microwaves back there. And they just cooked it up and I didn't I didn't actually know that they spent that much time cooking it preparing it and all that sort of stuff so I thought that was really cool so after we got all the footage done then we were set off to um, we were still working and we needed to interview one of them so we had to interview one for the actual story interview one of the people not one I don't know but so we had to interview one of the people and we didn't have enough time during our class period so we we kind of realized that we'd have to come in another day. So we kind of finished that up, and once we did that, let me see. Oh, geez. So once we did that, we could, before we could you know finish shooting everything, the class is about over. We kind of got kicked out. The lady was like, "You not wearing your?" I. Oh, the lady was saying we're not wearing our safety shoes, and I don't I don't know what that's about. But um, we're not wearing our safety shoes. So we went back. I'm going to fix that. So I'm going to go get this stuff and then I'll fix that. So we had to, we kind of had to leave. And I, I know, I watched before we went out that um, the tile, it's tile, is the same. Oh, geez. I'm, I don't, I need to make a. Okay, let's do this rather fast that the lady that was there had this not the lady that the tile there oh 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 that the tile there was the same as uh you know as behind the counter oh jeez oh jeez oh jeez oh jeez door 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 okay so I don't know. I thought that was kind of they were just, they just wanted us out. So I don't know. The lock trap looks like it's working really well, except for spiders. So then we had to get the inter- an interview with one of oh we had to get an interview with one of the people working there and. So we went in and um, we came in the next day. We had to come in. No, it wasn't the next day. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, we, you know what I'm going to do is I want to put a fence around this whole thing because 
At this rate, I'm going to get knocked off. So, I will be back. So, then, we came in the next day, and all the doors were locked. There's about five doors to get into the place. And they were all locked. And I was like, what? We were told to come back at this time, because one of the people told us to come back. So, I was a little bit confused on, you know, why we weren't just being let in. And, you know, because we had all the fancy mic equipment and stuff. So, I was a little bit confused. I'm going to put... Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. So then we had to kind of knock on the door. They were still in there cleaning up because we came in after lunch. So, oops. So after lunch, we came in and and uh, so we knocked on the door and we had one of the ladies come out and she didn't look like the nicest person around, but she surely wasn't mean when we got to know her. So then all that was done and apparently nobody has ever interviewed um anyone of the people that work there and i found out why is they didn't they don't like it they, they just don't like being on camera and i was there was this guy there that looked like he really would have been you know willing to do it but i guess not and i don't know i was kind of confused because you know why don't who doesn't want to talk about why the food isn't all microwaved and it's it's not microwaved and it's actually cooked so I don't know. People are weird. And so we finally got in to interview them and took forever to convince the lady to do it. She was like, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And we got that done and we got the interview done. It, was, it wasn't it was that good of an interview. Uh, we, didn't, we talked about uh, what do you think about the food here? What could you improve on? Why, how long have you been working here? Do you enjoy it? stuff like that it wasn't it wasn't all that good of topics but you know so I think that was about my story I really wanted to uh, talk about it so and the trap is working really well if you guys don't really understand what's happening here um, the mobs are spawning in that dark Ooh, that looks really weird I need to light that up the mobs are spawning in the dark area up there and they're falling into the water and they're being pushed down holy cow and they're and they're being pushed down here so I had if I can get okay I had a little strategy for this I probably should have done that before but I don't have any more wood so um, I'm gonna put all the mob drops in here for now so, give me a second, give me a second, I'm going to go sprint back, because now we basically have unlimited food, because we have unlimited supplies, so I'm what I'm going to do is, I hope you enjoyed my story by the way, and I really loved the, <laughs> the episode I put up yesterday, I'm sorry I got up late, I did not plan for that at all, why am I, why am I up here, but you know, it was, it was worth it, that took me a while to edit, so I... Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Why can't I just shift click? Okay, so how do you do this? I want four of these. You'll see what I'm doing. That's why I'm, this is why I made it 30 high. So I'm just gonna put Enderman. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Mm, I just I just looked at you. What are you gonna do about it? Get in here. Let's get this on. We're gonna fight. Come on, bro. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I'm scared. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd it go? I saw you. Come here. Come here. Hey, you stole a block. That's a dirt block. Hand it over. Give it back. Give it back, I said. I don't want to have to do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm scared. He stole a dirt block. Oh jeez. Um, where do you take it from? 
Give it back, bro. <laughs> he just fell in the water. Noob. Where did he take it from? I told you. Stealing is not nice. I thought they died during the day. <sighs> oh, maybe they're nice during the day. You didn't even give me the dirt block. What a jerk. Endermen these days are not very nice. So, Alright, I'm gonna go do my little plan execution and we will be back. Alright. Let's see. I'm gonna go drop off the... Let's take all the mob drops out of here. That can be the main base for him, but as of now, I want... Oops. I want all of the... Oops, a little more. I want all the other stuff in here until that fills up. We'll put them in there. But at this rate, we're going to be full pretty fast because my trap seems to be working really well and it looks really good. There's something about it. Look at that. Look how beautiful it looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so maybe about here. Okay. Ba bam Look at all that skill. Now, I can just do that. Can I lower it one? Hold on. Yeah, I can. I don't want to get exploded at dawn, so... Wait, could I just put it? Nah. Keep it here. I'll keep it real. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This trap might be too efficient. I could... <laughs> Let's just put that... Let's put it here. I could just sit here. You know? <laughs> I could... I should. I could probably um make some water come out to maybe here, and then we could collect it. But look at look at this. Just mass amounts of stuff. Ooh. All right, but I'm really happy with the way this went. This video is probably way too long, but dang, that trap is good. Dang. Um, I'm probably gonna go in and fix up all the other stuff. Oops later but as of now man i might fix that off screen because there's no real point to showing it but yeah i'm gonna i gotta start focusing on other stuff now but that was you know i'm really i might need to fix up some of this stuff but does it really need to be fixed i don't know tell me tell me if it needs to be fixed and um yeah thanks for watching i'm sorry if this video is probably super long but i thought it was kind of interesting so thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next episode peace